What up guys, Subek first here and today um this is gonna be something different. Um so as you see here, why do I have my pair of Joy Cons here? Um first of all, they're good. I mean some of the drawbacks we have is because the analog sticks they don't even have enough travel. Um this is not the reason why I bought a a third party Joy Con controllers. This is not the reason for that. I want to, I decided I want to modify them and just to see how it looks and I just want to play with it and see if I'm going to keep it or not and I'm also going to change out the d-pad, uh, the directional buttons into a d-pad because there is no um, d-pad in the left joy-con, it's just a bunch of buttons so bear that with me and if you guys are wondering, yes, today I'm modding my own joy-cons for the first time this is the base top watermelon red uh, replacement shell for the joy for the switch joy cons so um yeah let's let's open this up see some box it's just a clear box clear box nothing nothing else is going on here um, yeah um, pretty much that shows up the shell um as you can see here we do have both joy con we we do we both have uh both of their shells as you can see they look exactly the size as the joy cons are we have the left one as you can tell there's a a cross um a, a, there's like a cross shape hole in this uh control in this side because there's a d-pad which means we're going to be using it and we're going to be putting it here um and yeah I think I'm gonna use the whole set, the whole button set, just to see how it looks and see if I could try this. Um, I mean, I haven't done this. this is my first time I'm doing this. Um, I will be using the the color buttons, just like the Super Famicom when it give the new buttons a new look. I got this off Amazon. This is like um, twenty ninety nine. This is just on like twenty one bucks. I mean, it's a pretty decent product. Um, yeah. Um, and if you guys are wondering, um. What else am I supposed to do with this? Well, not only am I going to be using the shell replacements, I'm also going to be doing a analog stick replacement. Yes, this is an analog stick replacement I'm going to be doing in this process today. As you can see, it also comes with thumb pads right here. I'm going to be using these thumb pads anyway because I already have these and I'm going to be using on that. Um, so I'm just uh, set it to the side. As you can see, this is the analog stick itself. Be careful, there's a ribbon cable right here. As you can see, this is the analog stick. Um, I'm going to be putting this only in the left Joy-Con because the left one started to drift and I decided I wanted to also get replacement joysticks, which are these. And uh, see, and yeah, that's see how everything goes. So, if you guys are wondering how am I supposed to do the process, well, Good thing I got myself also in with the analog stick replacements. Um, they also come with they also come with tools. Yes, um, this is your own tool set. If you, uh, this tool set comes with the analog stick replacement, but I combine it to make it like as a show replacement. Uh, let's see if I can get this open. Uh, okay, it's got them open. Uh, Okay, we've got the pry tool opener. This is what I'm going to be using to open up the Joy Cons. That's what I'm going to be using. Um, it's kind of hard to get the rest of the tools out of here. Okay, I just got them out. This is a, um, I believe this is a, this is a Phillips head screwdriver. Yes. Phillips head screwdriver, we're going to be using that for the whole internals. We're going to be using also another screwdriver. We're going to be using a triwing screwdriver because we're going to be opening up the Joy-Cons. That's, that's how it does. We're also going to be using some a pair of tweezers because they're small ribbon cables. And I want to use my only hands to do this. So this is a pair of tweezers. This is a good tool also for short replacements or... Fix or fixing stuff as I'm, or fixing stuff. Yeah, I believe also, and it also comes with a spudger. This is a spudger we're gonna be using to take off the battery, 
and it's pretty much it in the packaging. Um, I'm gonna be doing this by my own. If you guys are wondering, this is a tutorial. No, this is not a tutorial. Um, I but this is gonna be. I'm just gonna be doing it by myself. Um, so wish me luck. Remember, this is my first time doing this. I never done this in a while. So um, yeah. Before we start the process, let's take off the two analog sticks. Uh, the analog stick. Uh, thumb thumb sticks. Thumb grips on right here. We're gonna be taking it off because that's where we're using it for a process. Something goes right here. Okay, we got another one off, and now we're now ready for the process. I know it's a little bit weird because the analog sticks do a little bit sweaty, but nevertheless, I'll see you guys after the process. Okay, here is the final product. Um, you know what? I really like it. Yeah, this is one of the best mods I've ever done. Well, not the best, but yeah, you know, um, the D-pad it is an okay D-pad, and I really like how the D-pad works. Um, of course, there's still the clicky buttons underneath of a standard Joy-Con, and that's how it causes to make it click. But very clicky, but awesome. Um, uh, I did change out the standard buttons to the colorful buttons because, I mean, who doesn't like colorful buttons? We want colorful buttons, and that's how it is. Um, really like it. Um, red joist, red uh, thumb caps are there. Um, plus, my plus, minus, awesome. S on SR buttons, they actually combine good with the color. They blend in nice. Um, the ZL and L and ZR, they both uh feel fine. L R same thing, and then and then uh capture works and home button always works as it should. But if I turn, but if I press the home button, my switch is gonna turn on. Um, yeah, it's not a bad product. But there are some drawbacks with these Joy Cons, and first of all, um, I uh, I couldn't get the co the correct color. Well, uh, let me show you guys why. Got my switch right here. Turn it on. Um, controllers. Okay, so as you can see, um, oh wait. Uh, let me just turn up the brightness. I believe you guys won't be able to see it. Yeah, you won't be able to see it. Turn up the brightness a lot. There we go. Okay. Okay. The complaint I have is when the SR and SL and SR buttons are in color, they still show up as gray. I've seen people... Um, having their Joy Cons as the correct color, for example, uh, ice blue, ice blue on the screen, ice blue on the Joy Cons. Not in case with the watermelon and red ones. Um, yeah, that's my that's my complaint. And if you guys are wondering what happens with the left Joy Con, same thing goes with the left Joy Con. It appears as gray. And another thing that um, happened during the process is that on the left Joy-Con, um, there was there's two springs in the Joy-Con, and one of them uh, has been twisted, which means that it was already damaged. And I mean, the trigger still presses good, but it goes a lot downer than on the right one. Short, down, and far, really far down. Um, another complaint I have with these shells, once everything is, uh, all together, um, is that, um, right here, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is a bump, I don't know if you guys can see, yeah, there we go, there's like a slight bump while it's already closed, it's a little too tight, I'm not sure how, but, I mean, that's the bump, 
And this one is and this side is already fine, but on this one it has a bump, a little bump, which causes for other accessories not to fit in. For example, on my surge grip, the red one, um, this one didn't fit in well because um I tried to close it down, it did fit, but it didn't close it down because of that of that bump. And it makes only completely flush, like you know, completely straight up straight up line. Um but on the blue one, um it actually fit in nice and good. I'm not sure if it's because maybe I'm not sure, but the right one didn't fit in good, but the blue one did. But other accessories can work with this Joy-Con. Um, and yeah, but this Joy-Con's still good. Like I said, I like the D-pad. This way, it's way better. Um, yeah, and if you guys are wondering if there's a bump also on the right Joy-Con, the answer is yes. Both bumps actually. One right here. One right here. Pause the video if you guys want to so you guys can see the bump. And you guys can pause right here if you guys want to see the other bump. I mean, this one on the other search grip, on the red one, it did fit in still good. But on this one, not on the left one. But it actually blends in nice. Like I said, complaints I have is, to, is the still the great Joy-Cons. Because it's still programmed to be those great Joy Cons, but I did change out the S, L, and S, R buttons just in case if it would change the color. No, it didn't change the color. I've seen people uh, change their color already, but no, I think they only change it to software. Um, I think I have to do that, or we'll see. Or oh, I'll see how I'm, what I'm supposed to do next. Um, but any anything, uh, let's turn this off. Everything else, it actually is not bad. I like how it looks like with the red thumbsticks on. This is a replacement thumbstick I was talking about. This is the one with the replacement. Uh, I'm not sure where the other, the old one went. I think I, I have it on the side here. Yeah. Um, overall, not a bad, not a bad product. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and also if you guys are interested in one of these one of these shells i'll leave a link to those in the description too and um there's not only these colors there's also um jungle green which is transparent green atomic purple it's like transparent purple ice icy blue like ice blue uh it's like transparent blue there's also um also watermelon red transparent red just like what i have them right here um and there's also all clear so no color, just all clear. You can just see uh, all the internals working inside just very clearly. Um, smoke black. Um, it's like um, a little bit dark of clear. And you can also mod also your back of the switch, uh, back of the uh, face back plate of the switch. So if it's all scratchy and you just want to get a replacement, you can also do that too right here. And it also combines with all the products they have. Um, and that's pretty much it, um, for that. Um, and also if you guys are, and also if your dri and your joystick is drifting, um, and you know what else to do, I'll also leave a link to those in the description. And also, and same thing goes with the tools that come with the replacement sticks. And then like, so you guys can do your own mod and then see how everything goes. And if, and if you guys have one of these, uh, the same shells I have or any type of shells, even though that doesn't show the D-pad or does, let me know in the comment section also um, how was the process and then see if it everything went went good. And yeah, also follow my social media pages. The links are also in the description. So so if you guys want to follow me on my social media pages, uh, follow me on that. Um, and uh, until next time, see ya.